Hi gang, Rob here. It is the evening of 13 May 2021. Coming to you tonight from a mountain cabin in East Tennessee. On vacation, but taking an evening out, taking a couple hours out of my hard-earned vacation time to hang out with you guys and help you get a hold of some really cool stuff. Mostly knives, mostly automatic knives tonight. But we've got some watches, a couple lights, a pen sprinkled in. <clears throat> Even a multi-tool. Before we get into it, a little bit of housekeeping. And you're going to want to pay attention to the housekeeping tonight. First up, there will be no next day sharpening this week because I didn't bring the Edge Pro to Tennessee. And all knives will ship Monday the 17th. Not tomorrow, the 14th, because I'm not home to mail them. Okay, with that out of the way, <clears throat> let's get to the terms of the sale, which I will post on the screen for you in just a moment. I'll also reprint them in the description underneath this video. Also in the description, above the terms, three links to prior videos. Number one, my primer for buyer's video. So if you're new to the sale and the terms puzzle you, that video will explain why it is the way it is and how it all works. The second link is to my FAQs for consigners video. If you're interested in using this weekly sales event to move along some of your collection, that video will explain how it all works from the consigners perspective. And the third link, as always, is to my rates and services video for the Apostle P Knife Service, the original precision sharpening service for the online knife community. So in the description, you'll find those three links at the top, then the terms of the sale. At the bottom, you're going to find the list of tonight's inventory, complete with timestamps and pricing. Number to the left of the slash is your as shown price. Number to the right, your as sharpened price. And if you see the word sold, exclamation point, all caps, in lieu of pricing, that means that knife has a new owner. It's bought, paid for. No need to send and I'll take it for that one. I do try to keep the, the sold listings up to date as close to real time as possible on sale night. Okay, I think that's it. Let's get the terms up on the screen for you. We'll be right back with the sale. Here are the terms. All right, let's get to it, shall we? First off, before I show you the first item in tonight's sale, because I was on vacation starting last Saturday, any leftovers from last week are not going to be shown in the video because I don't have them with me. So you're going to find at the top of the inventory list in this video description, the list of knives from the last Thursday night, May 6th sale listed with new pricing. I'm not going to timestamp them because it'll confuse you. You'll click on it, it'll go to this video. So I'll also change the prices in the May 6th video and you can go back and click on the timestamps in that inventory list to find them. Okay. That said, on to the fresh stuff. First up, we've got four watches for you. The first of which from probably my sentimental favorite of all watch companies, Hamilton. A company that grew up in Pennsylvania that's now a Swiss watch company, part of the Swatch Group. This is the Hamilton Intramatic Dress Watch. Silver dial. I'm trying to get the light to stop reflecting. Uh, let's see, diameter on this one is 38 millimeters. Just nine millimeters thick, including that just gracefully double-domed sapphire crystal, full polished case. 
display case back and this is an older version probably 2017 or 2018 still running the ETA 2892-2 movement so that will be the higher grade of ETA better than the 2824 it is a <clears throat> date at six o'clock no no running seconds movement that gives it that super thin profile it is wearing a strap from Hodinkee. It's a cordovan strap, black in color, with a nice polished buckle. It also comes with the original grained leather Hamilton strap with the sign buckle. Let me see, I don't think it's ever been worn on that. If you look at the holes, I don't think it's ever been worn on it. So that's your package. The condition of this is going to be very near mint. No box, no papers. Uh, these are selling on eBay right now between $350 and $396 for pre-owned versions. This one can be yours for $300, guys. $300 on the Hamilton Intramatic. Next up, from an American brand that has their watches produced elsewhere. This is a Bertucci A2T field watch. Titanium case, <clears throat> 39 millimeters in diameter, just 11 and a half thick, and 49 lug to lug. Titanium case, fixed lug bars. This one's wearing a Bond NATO. It is a Swiss quartz movement, no date, traditional field watch layout. 100 meters of water resistance. That 4 o'clock crown is a screw down crown. So first position does nothing. Second position will hack and set. Okay. I think the crystal's mineral on this watch. I've, this is sort of an older Bertucci <clears throat> model. And I think I think the newer ones are running an AmeriQuartz movement, but this one is a Swiss quartz, probably a Ronda. Also has a screw down case back. I don't know if I showed you that. There you go. Condition is very near mint, no box. These are selling uh, on eBay and sold listings for pre-owned watches between 95 and 220. This one is a superb example. 115, guys, 115 near mint, no box on that Bond NATO. That's the Bertucci A2T field watch. <clears throat> Next up from Techne, Techne. We have their Harrier Pilot's Watch. Beautiful matte black dial. Actually, got a little texture in places and kind of two different levels. I don't know if you can see that. Date at 3 o'clock. Big Arabics. <clears throat> Everything white on the dial is loom. Sorry, guys. On vacation, I didn't have time to do loom shots, but I'm sure it's great. This got a screw down case back with an exhibition crystal this is running the miyota 9015 automatic movement screw down crown uh, 50 meters of water resistance so the first position is going to run your date second position is going to hack and set it is a hand winding automatic Forty one millimeters in diameter, just twelve thick because of that Miota, and fifty one millimeters lug to lug. This is wearing a worn and wound vintage leather strap. I love how they did the painted edges in black, gives us a nice antique flavor. Okay. Um, let's see. 50 meters of water resistance. Near mint, no box. 
beautiful example, 316L stainless steel case. This one can be yours, 150 guys, 150. No box, near mint on the Techni Harrier automatic pilot watch. Next up here's a pretty cool watch from Spinnaker. This is the only watch of the night that actually comes with a box. <clears throat> and this is the Spinnaker Wreck automatic. A very cool watch in the aesthetic. This is the strap that it came with with that signed Spinnaker buckle. Now this is a full 316L stainless steel watch, but it's been sort of copper plated and antiqued. It is a patinated finish. Look at the aluminum bezel insert. That's not where, that's how it came. Okay, uh, let's see. 43 millimeters in diameter, 13 thick, that boxed mineral crystal. See the chamfered edges? Loomed markers, Arabix at nine and six, that sort of coppery frame, date window, the coppery hands which are also loomed, including the lollipop in the seconds hand. Screw down case back. It does have the custom spinnaker rotor on the Seiko NH35 movement. The crown is screwed down. It's an NH35, so it's going to hand wind. It's going to hack. Whoops. There's my screw down. Okay. Um, let's see. 43, 43 millimeter case, 13 thick, 50 lug to lug, 22 millimeter lug width. We'll call this one, we'll call this one near mint inbox. When these were new, I think they were done. I'm not sure where these sold. Anyway. They were 300-ish brand new. I think they're out of production, as most micro brand watches come and go, right? This one can be yours, guys, for 130 near mint in the box. The Spinnaker Rec Automatic. Next up, we got a little flashlight. Great little EDC light from Peak. This is their Iger model. Uh, the black hard anodized aluminum body. Three and three quarter inches in overall length. And this is kind of a well optioned light. It comes with the pocket clip for EDC carry and the quick on button. So you can just push the button, but it actually functions if you don't get that option from Peak as a twist, right? And it's very interesting because it is a variable twist. See that? I'm not sure what the lumen output is on this. I could not find it on Peak's website. Um, it does use the Cree XPG Cool White emitter and a rechargeable AAA. <clears throat> uh, if you buy these new from Peak's website, they'll run you 65 bucks plus shipping. This one can be yours. Near mint to like new. No box. 40 bucks shipped priority mail. That is the Peak Iger Light. Next up, this might take me a minute to set up because it's kind of a monster. This is the Emolent DX80, and you know your eyes do not deceive you, 32,000 lumen flashlight. It comes with a wall charger. It comes with a belt sheath. Yes, it's that big. And here is the monster. Oh, that's the DX80. Barely fits in the frame. Eight and three eighths inches in overall length. Diameter of the head three and nine sixteenths to the peaks of that crenulated bezel. Uh, yes, there are eight. Count them eight. Cree XP seventy point two emitters. <clears throat> this whole back end is battery pack. It's going to plug in for recharge right here. And the beam on this, guys, is super floody. 
Um, so, and it's kind of neat when you press the mode switch, it shows you how many lumens in a display right here. Okay, so you get 120, 500, 1500, 5000, 13000, and then you double click. There you go. <laughs> 32,000 lumens. And you just hold to turn it off. Very cool light, guys. This is not a uh, EDC flashlight. Man, what a power powerhouse it is. Um, this one is near meant to like new in the box. <clears throat> Buy one of these new. Uh, they're three seventy nine ninety nine on Amazon. This one can be yours. Shipped to you. Priority mail one ninety five. One ninety five. That's the Emelent DX eighty light. Oh gosh, I got a lot going on over here. Okay, next up, the only pen in tonight's sale. This is from Karis Customs, and this is their Bolt pen. Pretty cool. Tumbled aluminum. Man, that ought to just look the same forever. Tumbled aluminum. And then, it, yes, it's a Bolt pen, but it's not really designed to be worked with the thumb on the bolt you use the you use the uh, clicky button just press and turn which i really like uh, the bolt pen is five and a half inches in length it uses the toya gpr7 gel refill It is near meant to like new in the box. Brand new. This will run you $70 from your favorite web retailer or just buy this one. All in. Shipped. 50 bucks. Priority mail. That's their Karis, Karis Customs Bolt Pen. Next up. We got a pretty cool little package for you. It is the Leatherman Charge TTI Plus. Look at that. Looks like it's never been worn. There's just a little wear in the handles on the TTI. So you got your titanium handles, your S30V main blade, which I don't think has ever cut anything. You got a saw. You got a serrated blade with gut hook. You got a file. You got a pocket clip. <clears throat> there is also a detachable lanyard somewhere floating around. There it is. With the tools. And it's got a full tool set. Which will tuck nicely in the sheath if you so desire. Let's see what else is on the outside of the handle. That's it for the outside. You got your needle nose pliers with replaceable wire cutter jaws. And the full complement of Leatherman tools. There, There's your replaceable bit driver. This is a scissors model, right? Now, of course, I won't be able to get it back down. Oh, come on. There we go. Again, near mint. In the box with the full tool set. And you're also going to get this Leatherman knife. Just a little FRN handle liner lock, but it's got a special feature. It's got a thumb stud. Combo blade, not sure what the steel is on that. But look here, it's got a little flipper tab. <laughs> it's kind of a cool little stamped steel flipper tab. Works okay, it sometimes needs a little bit of rest, but that's just sort of a freebie with the package. So you get all that good stuff. Um, this item, the TTI Charge, Runs 170 brand new at your favorite web retailer, not including the knife, by the way. This one can be yours, near mint, in box, with the Leatherman liner lock flipper knife. 120 all in, plus 20 each to sharpen the main blade on the charge or the blade on the pocket knife. Okay. Oh, let's see. Put that back in your little home. Okay. All right. 
Next up, oh, you guys who are fans of the Boker Plus Kalashnikov line, you're going to love this. You are going to love this. There's your box. Your label just says uh, Desert Warrior Kalashnikov Pink. But it's more than just pink. This is the legendary AK-74 Desert Warrior Donut. You have your confetti or sprinkles pink handle. You have your yellow pivot and your aqua blade and pocket clip. Us 8 steel. Of course, perfect Kalashnikov action. Rock solid lockup. Blade centering right down the middle. Condition like new in box. Uh, these ain't 40 bucks, guys. If you have a woman in your life who needs a little, you know, purse protection, here you go. Get it for Christmas. Tuck it away. She's going to love it. 150 is your price. 150. 170 with an Apostle Piage. That is the Boker Desert Warrior Pink. <clears throat> Next up, more for you Boker fans, your Kalashnikov Auto people. This one is the Boker Plus XXL Bowie. <clears throat> With the OD green hard anodized aluminium handle and the copper colored coating on the blade. This thing is huge, guys. Five and seven eighths handle. Four and three quarters of clip point Bowie. D2 is your blade steel. Lock up rock solid. Blade centering. Pretty doggone nice for a big long knife. And the action. This is just what you'd expect. Awesome. Condition on this one. Like new in the box. I think these sell for like 63 bucks online if you can find one in this color. Good luck finding one in that color. Your price on this one. Like new in the box. Ship to you. Priority mail. 50 bucks. 50 and then 70 if you'd like it with an Apostle P. Edge. That's the Boker AK-74 XXL Bowie. Next up, are you taking an Oceanside Beach vacation this year? Uh-huh. Did you watch Jaws? Uh-huh. You might need this. From Spyderco, Seki City, Japan, we have a Pacific 2 Green Salt. Check it out. Oh my, look at that handle. Love how the black hardware works with it. Got kind of a parkerized looking clip that should be quite rust resistant. And then the new salt series is going to come not with H1 steel, but LC200N. Full spider edge on this one. You can muscle a little bit of vertical play, but that's probably if you push the lock bar down. Nope, probably just needs to break in a little. Let's see. Yeah, it's gone. <clears throat> nice action. Perfect centering. Condition. And guys, same dimensions exactly as an Enduro, just so you know. Uh, let's see. Like new in the box is, the, is your condition. A perfect example, I'm thinking. Map pricing on these at your favorite web retailer is going to be 126 or just buy this one. Like new in the box. Ship to you. Priority mail. All in. 80 bucks. No need to touch that spider edge. It's plenty good from the factory. <clears throat> Next up. From Heretic Knives, we have the Heretic Manticore X Tonto in Battle Worn Breakthrough Green. Check this out. Very, very interesting handle finish. I don't know how they got that greenish cast on that anodized coating but they did a neat job it's sort of green underneath black on top and then they tumbled it got a nice lanyard attached with a bead that matches the handle pretty close makers mark in the spine of the handle looks like it's going to have a right hand pocket clip only now i'm going to tell you something here guys the button action is very firm and you cannot limp wrist this knife 
If you do, it will not lock out. So you have to give it a firm button effort. If you don't, if you kind of see that, it didn't lock close. Didn't lock closed. So you got to be purposeful with it. There he goes. <clears throat> and it does have my edge on it as well. Um, let's see. Blade steel is S35VN. Blade length. 3 and 11 sixteenths, handle length 5 and 7 sixteenths. It's quite sharp. So we're going to call it Near Mint in box. Uh, this model is out of stock at 330 your price. And I did talk to the seller. He wanted a lot more. But because of that deployment issue, this is a man's knife. It may be more manly hands than mine. Um, because you got to have a grip on it for it to deploy reliably. He wanted to do this at like 285. I convinced him to do it to do it for 225. So 225, like it is, no need to sharpen. Okay, on the Heretic Manticore X Tonto. Next up, what happened to these knives? I remember when they were, what was it, 12 for 10 cents? <laughs> As Cassandra said to Wayne. But they're not anymore. They just can't seem to make enough of them. This is the Microtech LUDT standard in purple. Oh, my. You guys are lapping these things up. Look at that, would ya? Beautiful lanyard. Look at that purple hard anno on that aluminum handle. So here you go. Blade Steel CTS 204P manufacturer date. Three of 19. You saw the action. The lockup is rock solid. The blade centering is down the middle. Uh, I would call this knife like new, except the consigner has adjusted the pivot with something other than a Microtech tool. So you're going to see some little bright edges on that Microtech triangle. Okay. Uh, whatever he did, he did perfectly because there is zero blade play. Perfect action, perfect centering. So we'll call it Near Mint in Box. <clears throat> LUDTs are out of stock. The last run uh, sold at 247 web pricing. This one can be yours for 195 195 like it is. 220 if you'd like it with an Apostle P Edge. That's the Microtech LUDT Purple DLC in your inventory. Next up. From Tops Knives, look at that. We have a Tops Knives with a baggie, with the stuff, with the whistle, all that stuff. Usually when I get these in, they're just a knife. <clears throat> Comes in a beautiful hybrid sheath with a huge D-ring for the belt dangle. And you can remove the belt dangle and carry that Kydex in another way if you like. Got a fire steel integrated into a little Kydex pocket with a beautiful lanyard that retains at the bottom of the loop. How about that? There's the knife. Not quite a Scandi grind, okay, so I'm calling it a low saber because it's got a, a micro bevel on it. Blade steel on this one, here's what makes this one special, guys. Uh, 154 cm. A little more expensive than the 1095 versions. You got a nice brown canvas, my car to handle, the divot for your boat drill, right? Blade length on the BOB Fieldcraft, the brothers of Bushcraft, that's four and five eighths, handles five and a quarter. It is near meant to like new in box. The only reason I didn't call it like new is this, and it's not really damaged. That's where the sheath retention is. So the first time anybody pulled it out of a sheath, they got that little hickey, right? <clears throat> I said in box, it's in baggy. So right now, <clears throat> this knife is out of stock everywhere on the web. When they were in stock, they were between 165 and 175, depending on your retailer. <clears throat> this one can be yours. 120 like it is. 
140 with my edge on it. That's the Topps B.O.B. Fieldcraft. Stay over there. Okay, guys, time for the most interesting knife in the sale. And yes, it's a Gerber. It is the Gerber Double Down Folding Machete. It comes in a very large belt sheath. Looks like it might be Molly compatible. Mm -hmm. So inside is this thing. It's like a Ballyshetty. <laughs> so the handles appear to be a OD Green FRN. It's got a latch. And then, wait, I, I can't get it open because it's called the quad lock. So these pieces here, you have to pinch. And then you have to pinch them. Oh my, still pinching. Uh-huh. And then will it lock open? It will, I think. It will lock open. Look at that. Locks open securely. And then you got this. One eighth, if that, so it is machete thickness, right? 420 HC, tumbled, a very low saber grind. Blade length is six and three quarters. The handle is eight and three quarters. You know what, guys? That handle freaking works. It lets you come back to get some swing. First, you know, my first thought was this is kind of hokey. I don't think it's very hokey at all. <laughs> very cool. Um, web pricing on these is about one thirty, and I think they're available. This one is like new in the box. It can be yours, shipped priority mail for a hundred bucks, and then one thirty if you'd like it with my edge on it. Let's see if I can get this open. Oh man. Ah. Oh. Yeah, you got to squeeze those handles together to get that loose. Now, let's see. Again, you've got a quad lock. It's hard to do in front of the camera. Okay. And then this position is right there. How about that? Pretty cool tool. Not all your buddies have one of these at the barbecue. So, yeah, 100 like it is, 130 like new in the box for the Gerber Double Down. Next up. We have a launch fest, my friends. The first one is this one right here. This is the launch four in the gray hard anodized aluminum handle, but let's do this the wrong way. It's got the Damascus blade. Look at that thing of beauty. The blade length, I think these are Cali legal, one and 15 sixteenths inches. Don't think it's ever cut anything. Not a mark on it. So I'm going to call it like new, no box. Shipped priority mail all in. Your price, 70 bucks. 90 with an Apostle P. Edge on the Launch 4 Damascus. Oh, yeah, by the way. Perfect action. Perfect lockup. And I would hope a 2-inch blade is centered, and it is. Perfect. So 70 like it is, 90 sharpened on the Launch 4 Damascus. Next up, and guys, you're going to want to be careful in your I'll take it, because I have three of these tonight. This is number one, okay? So Kershaw Launch 6, number one. Comes with the hard anodized black aluminum handle, reversible tip-up pocket clip, red firing button, DLC coated blade, CPM 154. Now this one does have a couple scratches in that DLC coating at the tip. No real edge damage though, okay? Lockup is rock solid. Deployment action, perfect. Blade centering is perfect. We're going to call this excellent to near mint, no box. Your price, 55 bucks. Shipped priority mail, 75 with my edge on it. That's Kershaw Launch 6, number 1. Next up, another launch. Mm -hmm. This is the original, the Kershaw Launch 1, with that classic old-school Kershaw design. I love that. And they even went classic Kershaw butter knife on the clip. 
black card anodized aluminum handle, red firing button, button lock auto. This is the BW version, right? So it's got the black wash blade and CPM 154. Gorgeous Kershaw sweep, right? Rock solid lockup. Perfect blade centering. Bang, fire. Un unbelievable action on this one. No bouncing off the stop pin. Everything's rock solid. I'll call this near mint to like new, no box. Your price, 65 bucks, 65, then 85 with an Apostle P edge. That's the Kershaw Launch One. Okay, interrupting our Kershaw Launch Fest. This is splitting a line between two consigners. <laughs> we have from Protec in a nice little nylon bell sheet. Oh, the Dark Angel. Yes, the Dark Angel. A single action out the front knife from Protec. Five and one eighth inch handle. Deep carry pocket clip. It's got a safety, so if that's gone, the knife will not fire. Click it off. Nice positive safety. Check this out. That's a super thwack, my friends. That's like halo thwack. Bang. DLC coated blade and 154 cm three and five eighths inches long so to close it you press the button you pull back you gotta release the button for it to stay thwack and pretty rock solid i mean there's a little tiny bit that you can muscle in there but nothing like a double action it's very solid lockup <clears throat> condition on this one like new no box with sheath uh, these are out of stock at every retailer I could find. When they were in stock, they were 230 This one can be yours. 175 No need to sharpen. That's the, uh, the Protec Dark Angel. Love that knife. Next up, I have twins, and I need to turn the page. These are a pair of Kershaw Launch 2s. And guys, there's no distinction. So I'm, I'm going to have in the inventory list a, a number one and a number two, but it doesn't matter because I couldn't find any difference in the knives. Okay? Um, so here you go. The hard black anodized aluminum frame, the red firing button on the button lock auto. Stonewash blade, just a nice drop point with a saber grind. CPM 154, beautifully stonewashed. Rock solid lockup. Perfect centering, and they're both perfectly centered. They're both like new, no box. Uh, let's see. Let's do uh, 55 bucks a piece, 5.5, five, and then 75 with an Apostle P edge. So that'll be Kershaw Launch 2, number one, and Kershaw Launch 2, number two. Don't worry about numbering them. Uh, just sort of first come, first served, and they're both identical. Next up, maybe my favorite launch. This is the Kershaw Launch 5. This is the Emerson designed launch with that beautifully milled black hard anodized aluminum handle, the red firing button. Stonewash clip point blade with the Emerson Design Maker's Mark. CPM 154. Just a beautiful, beautiful knife. The opening action is great, but you're, this is one of those launches that you really got to get your finger off the button or it might not lock open. Okay? But pivot adjustment will help with that too. Just if you Put a little more tension on the pivot. It doesn't seem to bounce off the off the uh, stop pin quite so hard. So this is a larger launch. I think that blade's nearly four inches. I didn't measure it. Uh, condition is like new, no box. Your price on this one's going to be sixty bucks, six zero, and then eighty if you like it with an Apostle P edge. That's the Kershaw Launch Five. Next up, it's another twofer. We have a pair of Kershaw Launch 6s. These will be number two and number three. Okay, so this is this is kind of confusing. We had another one of these that was Kershaw Launch 6 number one, different consigner earlier in the sale. So 
it doesn't really matter which one of these you get. Um, just put number two or three in your cons in your I'll take it email. So you got the black hard anodized milled aluminum handle, the red firing button, DLC coated blade, and both of these blades are unmarked, right? Um, there might be a little oil at the tip of that one, but no marks in the coating. Rock solid lockup. Centering is beautiful. Let's see. <laughs> Everything's fine on both those, like new, no box. Again, Kershaw Launch 6, number 2 and number 3. 55 bucks, double nickels a piece, 75 sharpened. Next up, first one of these I've ever had in my hand. This one from Buck Knives. This is the Buck Impact. It is a button lock, aluminum handle, auto knife. With track tech inserts, right hand tip up deep carry clip. Um, and just a word of note. The safety has like zero resistance. Very little resistance on that safety button. Red is fire. There's your blade. Three and an eighth inches of S30V. Hollow ground, kind of a low grind. False grind at the top. The handle length is four and a half. Rock solid lockup. Blade centering is right down the middle. Ah, it's hard to tell the clip throws your eye off. It's pretty darn close to perfect. Firing action, perfect. That, that safety would drive me crazy, just saying. I'd probably just put a dab of super glue in there and go and be done. Um, button notwithstanding, the condition is like new, no box. They're discontinued. They're out of stock. When they were available, they were $175. This one can be yours for $100. Bucks. $120 with an Apostle P Edge. That's the Buck Impact. Next up, from the now deceased and extinct HK Knives by Benchmade, we have the Heckler & Koch HK 14430 Patrol Automatic, an FRN handled auto knife with a deep carry reversible pocket clip, button lock auto with the safety, great thwack, D2 blade, Cerakoted, 3 and 3 eighths out of a 4 and 3 eighths inch handle, so nice efficient blade to handle ratio, perfect lockup, I'm calling the blade centering close on this one, very very close, unbelievable action, just a super well-made knife. Super well-made knife. Condition on this one is like new, no box. Discontinued, out of stock. When they were available, they were $179. I think they got cleared out at less than that. They didn't sell well. Your price on this one, what a great truck glove, glove box knife. $75! bucks. 95 with an Apostle PH. That's the HK 14430 Patrol knife. Next up... From Gerber, made in the USA, in a nylon pouch, we have one of these Gerber American-made soldier blades. This is the 06 Auto. Hard anodized black aluminum frame, very much a sear handle profile, wouldn't you say? Parkerized clip, it's going to be, I think it's right hand only. It looks like it might not be, but it is. Got a glass breaker and a lanyard loop at the back. Safety. Now, the deployment speed, not fast, but 100% reliable and locks up solid. So you have a combo edge Tonto blade, an S30V, 3 and 5 eighths inches long with a 5 inch handle. Very nicely done. Nice factory edge, got to say. Blade centering is uh, perfect. If you want to buy these at your favorite web retailer, they'll run you 180 bucks a piece. This one, like new, no box, but with sheath. 
and do yours for $110. 110 like it is, 130 with an Apostle Piaget. It's the Gerber 06 Auto. Next up, oh, here's kind of a special knife at a bargain from Zero Tolerance. From the design mind of Dmitry Sinkevich, we have a ZT0452 carbon fiber stonewashed frame in titanium, steel inserted lock interface, ball bearing flipper. No death lock, fingers on lock bar, comes open just fine. Blade is S35VN. It appears to be completely unmolested. I'm going to say this knife is near mint to like new. Rock solid lockup. <clears throat> Perfect centering. No box. Like new, near mint to like new. No box. Beautiful example. 150, 150 like it is. 170 with an Apostle P edge. That's the ZT0452CF. And speaking of ZT bargains, we have another one. This, I think, sort of the last of a line, right? This is, I think, the last Ken Onion ZT. It's the 350, the 0350. And it was kind of their effort to do a bargain model in the 300 series. So we have no 3D machining on the G10, just standard texture G10, stainless steel liners. I think an FRN backspacer. It might be G10. I don't know. This is the BW version. So it's got the black wash blade, tumbled DLC, S30V steel, speed safe spring assist, absolutely rock solid. I've never had a 350 in my hand that was not rock solid. So the spring assist on phosphor bronze washers works perfectly. Blade centering is hard to see. It's right down the middle. Unbelievable. Gorgeous knife. I thought they discontinued these and they might have started making them again. I'm not sure what they are new now, but I guarantee you can't buy one like this for this price. Like new, no box, 75 bucks. 100 if you want my edge on it. I don't think you can buy one for 100 bucks like new. That's the ZT0350BW. Next up, it's time for some knives from... Steel Sharp, my buddy Frank Velez down Carolina Way. We got five of his knives tonight to wrap up the sale. The first one we are calling the Steel Sharp Sheep's Foot. It is made from an old Nicholson file, one eighth inch stock, acid washed wood handles, black Kydex sheath with soft loop. Look at that nice little package, wouldn't you say? I would. Great fit. Look at that. You can just see the old Nicholson file marks in the Ricasso. Okay. Nicely done sheep's foot. Got a little low spot in his grind. Hand applied jepping. Nice thin blade. Not sure what the wood is. Might be oak. Interesting texture. Feels good in the hand. Blade length is three and an eighth. Three and three eighths is your handle. Nice little package. That is Frank learning to be svelte, right? No extra anything on that knife. Just super utility. Your price on this, $100, guys. $100 like it is. Handmade, custom, brand new from the maker. $120 with an Apostle P edge. That's the steel sharp sheep's foot. Next up, a nudden from Frank. Frank Vela's Steel Sharp Knives. We have a knife I'm calling the Steel Sharp Stubby Clip Point. 1095 blade, 316 stock, white liners, buckskin wood handles, you'll see in a minute. 1 8 brass pins and a black kydex sheath with clip. So there's your sheath. It's got the slim style tech lock with attachment fasteners. Fit. Very good, Frank. You're getting better. You're getting better. Wow. There we go. We have a well-oiled 1095 blade, satin fish. Let me wipe that off. When I say stubby, I mean stubby. Two and seven-eighths inches of blade. 
three sixteenth stock. Satin finishes are looking much better, Frank. I got to tell you, that's nicely done. And there is that buckskin wood, laminated wood product, white liners, nice in the hand. So three and seven sixteenths is the handle. Hey, that thing will work. That's pretty doggone nice. Brand new from the maker with Tyvex and clip. Your price, 145 145 like it is, 165 with my edge on it. Handmade custom from Steel Sharp, the stubby clip point. Next up, we have another one from Frank Velez, Steel Sharp Knives. I'm calling this one the Steel Sharp Cord Wrapped Clip Point. It has an A2 blade, 3 16 stock. Stone wash finished. No inside paracord, meaning gutted paracord. And it's wrapped with an epoxy coating to keep it all in place. Black Kydex sheath with a pocket clip. So there's your sheath. There's your tech lock. There is your epoxy coated gutted paracord. That looks pretty doggone nice. Great purchase, too. And there is your acid stone wash clip point blade. That's three and a half inches of blade, three and five eighths inches of handle. Stock is three sixteenths. That fits pretty good, I gotta say. Nicely done. It is like new, brand new from the maker. Your price on this one, guys, is gonna be one thirty-five. One thirty-five, like it is one fifty-five. If you've absolutely gotta have an Apostle P edge, you gotta put the knife in the right way. Okay, there you go. That is the Steel Sharp Cord Wrapped Clip Point. Next up, another one from Steel Sharp. I'm calling this the Steel Sharp 3 inch Clip Point. Very creative. I'm not a knife namer. Okay, this is going to come with a 5160 blade, 8th inch stock. Black canvas micarta handles with red liners with 1 8 brass pins and a black Kydex sheath with a clip. And again, in the baggie, that slimline tech lock with screws. There's the sheath. Frank, your sheath fit is getting good, man. I'm telling you. They weren't that way in the beginning. Nicely set and finished little clip point blade. Three inches in length. Three and five eighths inches of handle and black canvas. One eighth inch is your stock thickness. Very nice in hand. Handmade custom from Carolina. Steel sharp, three inch clip point. Your price, one thirty five like it is. One fifty five with an Apostle P edge. Uh -huh. And that brings us to the last, last, last knife, knife, knife in the sale, sale, sale. We're gonna wrap it up with our final. Steel Sharp knife of the night. This one I'm calling the Steel Sharp three and a half inch clip point. 1095 steel, one eight stock, black canvas micarta with white liners. I'm sorry, OD green canvas micarta with black and white liners. One eighth inch brass pins, black kydex with soft loops. Oh, there's your kydex. Again, uh, just a tiny bit of rattling that one. Pretty good though. Nice thumb break. Nice. Oop, got a wipe. We're oily, very oily. Man, look at that. Frank, your satin, my friend, is getting good. You do have a little bit of sheath marking in that satin finish though. So, three and a half inches of eighth inch 1095. Is your blade nicely done? There's your OD green canvas micarta with black and white liners, brass pins. Handle length is just three and a quarter inches long, but man, it does it does a job on my large size glove hand. Very nice. Handmade custom, like new, as new, is new, brand new from the maker. Your price a buck and a quarter, 125 for this one. 145 with an apostle P edge. That's the Steel Sharp three and a half inch clip point. And that, my friends, 
brings us to the end of my Tennessee vacation sale. Get off there, you piece of tape. Thanks for hanging out with me. Hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. Grace to you and peace, my friends, from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, the word is sharp. Have at her, boys and girls.